Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Brains! Brains! Oh no, a zombie! Eat brains! You know, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mmm, nom 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 nom. That's it? Me don't feel different. <laughs> no brains! So hungry! Gonna starve! Ugh. You really starved a zombie. Good god damn, you suck. Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to kick off in honor of Glenn Webb 31 horror toys in 31 days. Now, I was not going to do this, uh, I was just going to do a Halloween uh, review. I, I picked this up specifically for that. This is a WWE Zombies Undertaker zombified uh, figure, and just days before Glenn's unfortunate passing, and he and I had chatted about this uh, particular figure and uh, the 31 Horror Toys, and, uh, you know, uh, talking to uh, another friend of his, um, you know, he mentioned that Glenn felt that this was something that his fans w were wanting, uh, and, uh, you know, I gotta say, I, he's, he's probably right, because I loved the 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days. I thought that was a great event, and I know Glenn had already picked up a few figures uh, to do one this year. And, um, you know, it's a shame that we won't be able to get to see it. But uh, I, I thought, you know, what better way to honor Glenn than to pick up the mantle and keep it going. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to kick it off with this WWE Zombies figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the Undertaker in box, and it's looking pretty cool. I don't know why these came out, but it's definitely pretty fun. Uh, if you watch my channel, you know I collect a lot of the classic wrestlers. While the Undertaker was at the end of that whole era for me, uh, it was just past when I was watching wrestling. Um, I did like the Undertaker. I thought he was pretty cool. He's right at, in fact, I think he showed up right at the end. Um, and I love the zombie version, and I figured, ah, why not? I'll go ahead and pick one up. I don't want one in the collection. So why not? And we get this really cool box um, art going on here. It's got the WWE logo up there. It says zombies, and there's some uh, cartoonish artwork there. I like how this is a coffin with some rivets. Uh, definitely cool. It's even got the handles on the side. I'll do some close-ups of this. I think this is really, really nice. Um, very cool. Now, they are just deluxe um, kind of basic figures. Uh, but uh, they've got a lot of modification to them, which is very, very cool. So just kind of a close-up, really quick. Um, there's the WE logo, and it says Zombies. And then I love the coffin. Um, the plastic details just look really nice. Very cool. It's got all the little handles of the coffin, all the rivets. There's the artwork. Very cool. Definitely digging that. He's got this weird flame effect going on. Not sure what that's about. Here is the back of the packaging. It's got the artwork. It's got a little write-up of the zombified Undertaker. It's got the Zombies logo up here. And all the other figures in this wave. I'm not really sure which other ones I'm going to pick up, but we'll definitely be coming uh, uh, somewhere around this again, I'm going to presume, uh, because they're a lot of fun and, well, they're a pretty prevalent toy right now. Um, it's got the little logo. Very cool. Liking the artwork on the back. Here is, uh, if I can get this into focus, if you want to uh, pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. And just real quick, here are the other figures in the line. You get a John Cena, The Rock, Triple H, which looks really cool. You get uh, Bray Wyatt, uh, you get uh, Dean Ambrose, Paige, which looks weird, and you also get Roman Reigns. So, yeah, definitely pretty cool. I am digging it. So let's go ahead and get The Undertaker out of package and see what we think. So here we have The Undertaker out of the package. And I gotta say, I like this figure. I like the detail on it. It's a lot of fun. They did a really nice job painting this figure. He's got these tattoos. I'll do a close-up shot, of course, on the figure. Um, very, very cool. Very impressed with it. Uh, a lot of fun. Really, really surprising. 
Um, definitely with the arms and the flame effects. I'd like to see if I can get the, uh, the flame effects to work maybe with the Scarlet Witch or something. I think that'd be kind of a fun little thing to do with a Marvel Legends. Now, as far as articulation goes on this guy, it's like most basics. Um, his head turns uh, left and right. It goes up and down ever so slightly. The back is hampered, I think, more because of the hair than anything else. He has a twist at the waist. There is no ab crunch. His arms, oh, I just lost one of the flame effects. His arms go all the way around. Uh, they go out that far. There is a twist at the upper bicep. It's a single jointed elbow. There is a hinge at the wrist. Those do twist. I'm going to take this other flame effect off here. Um, his legs go out that far. They go really far back. Um, there is no outward motion on it. He has very, very tight uh, single jointed knees uh, like that. There is a twist at the boot. There is a twist at the, or a, 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 a twist. <laughs> it's a hinge at the ankle, but there is no ankle pivot, which is very unfortunate. But um, overall, not too terribly bad as far as articulation goes. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I like the detail in the hair. It's all flat black. I'd like a little bit of paint wash in there, but eh, it's okay. I like the head sculpt. It's pretty fun. Again, it's supposed to be zombified and kind of cartoony. He's got his tongue hanging out, the white eyes, the gray flesh looks pretty cool. I like the upper uh, tank top there. The detail on his tattoos, very, very cool. I'm really, really digging that. Of course, we get the black, uh, you know, top around the back side there, his other side with the tattoos. Again, really, really nice. And uh, we see a little bit of that uh, flame effect uh, coming up there. Uh, it's got a nice translucent purple, so definitely pretty cool. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, I love the detail on the paint apps on the uh, little demon painted there on his pants. I think that looks cool. I like how his flesh looks ripped, stripped at the uh, bicep and the elbow there, and the glossy paint over the muscles and the red really look liquid. Um, it looks bloody. They did a good job with that. I think that looks really nice. A lot of paint detail in there, and the flame effects. It's this translucent purple. It's a rubber, and uh, I think it looked cool with some of the Marvel Legends like Doctor Strange or Scarlet Witch, so I may have to try that out. He's got the little bony fingers, which is neat, and how the flame effects sit in his hand are very strange. Um, the right one, a little bit more so than the left one. The left one hooks on really well, and the right one he kind of has to hold. Uh, which is interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm going to display this figure with these pieces or not, but uh, it's definitely cool. Although I got to say the best sculpt and paint uh, work has got to go into these uh, forearms and the hands. I mean, it's just got a, like a, a Cenobite kind of feel to it, which I really do dig. Looking at the bottom of the figure, generally this is where things get a little bit boring, but not too bad here. Uh, the boots have a really good brown wash over them, over the black, and uh, nice detail, a lot of sculpted detail in there, but that uh, kind of dirty brown, almost like mud covered out of the graveyard. Uh, very, very cool. I do appreciate that, and it's all on the front side of the boots, so I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a muddy kind of thing going on there, which is very, very cool, but overall, really nice on the details. For comparison, here we have The Undertaker with a couple other figures out of my collection. Of course, we get the Honky Tonk Man, who is also a basic figure. And we've got Hulk Hogan, which is an elite figure. And uh, he's pretty tall. He might be taller than the Hulkster there. Definitely a lot taller than the uh, Honky Tonk Man. I don't know. I know The Undertaker was a tall dude, but I don't know how much taller he was than Honky. Um, and this figure always seems really short to me with the other figures, so he might be out of scale. I don't know. If you guys know, leave a message down below. But definitely pretty cool to see him with the other figures in this zombify mode. So is the WWE Zombies Undertaker a figure that you want your wrestling collection? Well, if you're a geek that loves both wrestling and zombies, it's a perfect match. 
I think this series is really weird, really goofy, but it's just in time for Halloween, so I do appreciate that. And uh, like I said, I don't have an Undertaker figure, so this is the first one in my line, and why not make it a zombie? Uh, I do appreciate the paint and the sculpting on the zombie bits. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, the additional paint applications on the boots, very nice. Uh, I always remember The Undertaker in the big black hat and trench coat and the white makeup. And this kind of reminds me of that a little bit with the gray face and the black around the eyes. So, um, yeah, it makes me a little sentimental for old school wrestling. But definitely very cool and uh, very fun. So there he is, The Undertaker from WWE Zombies for the 31 Horror Toys. In 31 days. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.